Hi, I'm Ben from Bison Armory, and today I'm going to talk about our barrel alignment shim sets and how you can use them to get correct torque and correct alignment of your barrel nut on your AR-15 upper receiver assembly. Now, correct torque is extremely important. It's essential to safety, reliability, and accuracy of your AR-15 upper receiver assembly. Too much torque and you may crack your upper receiver. Not enough torque and you risk disassembly of your weapon. Now, before you begin, if you're starting with a complete weapon, please make sure it is completely unloaded and pointed in a safe direction before you remove the upper receiver and begin your work. Now, let's get started. All right, to start the assembly, insert our barrel into the upper receiver. Add a small amount of grease to the receiver threads. Install the barrel nut and hand tighten. We're demonstrating here with an A2 barrel nut. This works equally well with any style AR-15 barrel nut. And there we are, ready to go to the next step. Okay, with our barrel nut hand torqued onto the receiver, set your torque wrench to 30 foot-pounds and torque the barrel nut until correct torque is achieved. Once we've done this, we're going to break in the threads on the receiver and the barrel nut by torquing again to 30 pounds two more times. Now, once this is done, we're going to check alignment between the barrel nut and the receiver. I like to use a gas tube to do this. You can see that we didn't quite make it. We need more torque to get this thing aligned. So this is where we gauge how much uh, or what, what number of shims that we're going to need to get the job done. All right, we're going to explore the first scenario in which one shim is needed for correct alignment and torque of your barrel nut. So to start, we torque to 30 foot-pounds and see that we are just past alignment. It's not quite, or it's just a little bit past alignment. So to fix this problem, remove the barrel nut, select one barrel alignment shim and snip in one position. It's quite thin, so it cuts very easily with simply a pair of scissors. <clears throat> Remove the barrel from the receiver and carefully slide the shim into position on the barrel extension. Ooh. Make sure that at the point where you cut the shim, it goes around the indexing pin and slides in past it. Insert back into your receiver. Check that the shim has not displaced outside of the barrel extension. And then hand tighten your barrel nut one more time. Torque again to 30 foot-pounds. find that in this case we're perfectly aligned at approximately 45 to 50 foot pounds of torque and we are done okay the second scenario is one in which you will need two shims you're going to torque to 30 foot pounds and notice that we are well past alignment but in this case we probably won't get to the next indexing position on the barrel nut inside the safe range of 30 to 80 foot pounds of torque so we're going to loosen off our barrel nut. And then prepare two shims. Take each shim and snip in one position. And install on the back side of your barrel extension one and the other one follows the first one there make sure that the shims go around the indexing pin like so there now we're ready to install on the upper receiver make sure again 
that the shims are not bulging and carefully install and hand tighten your barrel nut. Now you set your torque wrench to 30 foot pounds and torque to 30 foot pounds. There. And using whatever alignment method you want, prepare that and tighten until alignment. And there we have it. The brown nut is now installed, aligned, and properly torqued. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you found it informative. If you do have any questions, please email us at gunsmithingadviceinarmy.com and we'll get back to you right away.